Yes, it shall. Good morning to you. I believe that you are fine. Hallelujah. We are sharing truth this morning on the trial of faith explained. Coming from 1 Peter chapter 1, 6 through 9. By the grace of God. You are warmly, warmly welcome to the Really, Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Lanry Adeneko. It's all packaged to inform as well as inspire you into the real knowledge of the very real God that we serve. Everything being powered by the Pastor Lanry Adeneko Center for Inspiration. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are tired of commonplace Christianity and now you want the finest quality of it, this is the place to be. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we bless you, worship you, magnify your great name, O God. Lord, you are good. Your mercy is in you forever. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. You have been a great help to us here. We acknowledge it and thank you for it. Lord, we are asking, O God, for that same help again this morning, O God, that we may do a good job of it, that there will be a hearing, that there will be an utterance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First Peter 1, 6 now. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire may be found to praise honor and glory at the revelation of jesus christ whom having not seen you love though now you do not see him yet believing you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory receiving the end of your faith the salvation of your souls okay then praise the lord all right so let's um spend just a few minutes doing this together um is he, you know he concluded the first five verses that says now in this you greatly rejoice that is in this uh, all this um salvation all this uh, being kept by the power of god okay in all this being um uh, begotten or being born again and the power of God keeping you until the very last minute in all of this you rejoice okay that's it though now for a little while if need be you have been grieved by various trials now trials come our way even though we are the children of God even though God can um, because of his power that is the way he can make sure you don't go through those trials okay oh it's very very possible you can make sure you don't go through those trials but in god's opinion those trials may just be important for us and for some reasons we're about to give here the other day i saw somebody who was uh, eulogizing his mom and uh, it, you know he said i thank god that my mom was a mean mom and he put that mean on quotes he said well later later at the time he was going through it it seemed as if the mother was mean but later i found out that every all of those things that he went through they have paid off today yeah at that point in time it looked as if that's what the bible talks about about god in the book of hebrews it says no chastisement for the moment seems to be joyous so god it says if need be you may be grieved by various trials god when he thinks it's necessary yeah he would allow you to go through some 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 trials and i want to encourage some child of god listening to us this morning oh stuff happens believe me and god deliberately you know um allows not only allows enables you to go through this period and it everything comes back to his own glory and actually your benefit at the end of the day he says that um uh, that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than that of gold that perishes though it is tested by fire we found to praise honor and glory at jesus's revelation okay we'll come back to the uh, by verse eight let's look at this verse seven he was now comparing how gold is taken through fire to make it come out better now it was comparing this some of these trials that we we go through uh with how gold goes through the fire to make it come out better he says that of gold um even though it comes out and everybody um um appreciates it everybody admires you know the outcome of it is our own is even better you know the words the kind of admiration he now said you know he spoke about it now um to the praise glory or honor 
as revelation, the kind of praise, the kind of glory is bigger than that of gold. That of the kind of honor bigger than that of precious metals. That at the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he says. He says, you know, when you when you pass gold through fire, if gold could complain, like we human beings can complain, he would complain. But when it comes out on the other hand shining, he will be smiling. You know, he will be very very happy, and everybody is praising. Oh, this is beautiful. He will be happy. He will be glad to hear those things. The same thing as us. When we go through stuff, it's not funny why we are going through it. It's like fire. But after we come out and people are saying, this is, I just thank God for your life. See what God has made out of your life. Uh, we just thank God. <laughs> we just thank, we are happy now. But, but while going through it is not funny. It's just like gold going through fire. Only that gold can talk. If he could talk, he would complain. <laughs> May God help us in Jesus' mighty name. But that when we understand that God loves us, in spite of all these things that we are going through, you go through it and... Um, you actually say to yourself, I'm coming, I'm coming out better. I want to encourage people who have gone through stuff or who are currently going through stuff at this point in time. The fire will not burn you, will not make you come out better. The water will not drown you, will not make you come out better in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be found to, you know, praise will come to God on account of you. Honor will come to God on account of you. Glory will come to God on account of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Only to make you better, make you stronger, make you tougher, you know, <clears throat> make you yeah that's just it make you more rugged spiritually and bring out beauty from you the hidden beauty that was there when all the um all the, the dross has been burnt off it's just like you remove chaff you know from which the beautiful thing the main thing comes out you are going to come out well in the mighty name of jesus christ verse 8 it says even though this jesus christ you have not seen him yet you love him though now you don't see him yet but you believe and you are rejoicing with joy inexpressible and full of glory receiving the end of your faith we'll come back to that again now we haven't you know people love only who they have seen or people they have uh, they are seen on television they are reading and reading about and things like that now this god this christ you haven't even seen him you know but you love him you love him by faith you know <laughs> And you rejoice with joy inexpressible. That is something that only God can do. You haven't seen somebody, you, you just love him. And you love him with so much joy, words cannot describe the kind of joy with which you love him. That's, I think that's the only thing that God can do. And that's what I say to people when I'm, I'm trying to invite them you know, to becoming born again. There's this joy that you have on account of your being born again that cannot be described. It can only be experienced. There's no way I can tell you, I can describe it to people. You can only, it's only when you experience experiences you too will know what, what what it is all about and you too will not be able to describe it either yeah that's the one that comes with salvation and now it says also receiving the end of your faith the salvation of your soul that the the entire purpose of christianity the entire purpose of this whole thing that we are enjoying is so that our souls may be saved what is the meaning of saving of your soul he was writing a letter to people who are already born again people who are, who are already saved now the saving of the soul here what this is referring to here is talking about a situation where your soul remember that we said when you get born again it's your spirit man that actually gets born again you have a brand new spirit but that soul is not is not a brand new soul so you have a brand new spirit but the soul also gradually gets saved and the aim of the entire exercise is so that your soul may be saved hallelujah <clears throat> And what that means is this, that your soul may come to a place where your, your, your spirit is in full ascendancy, your spirit and, the soul, your, and your soul, they are working together in tandem, they are working in sync together, your soul is also aligned totally with the soul of God. You know God has a soul, he says, if any man shall draw back, his, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. When your soul is totally in alignment with that of God, in tandem, in sync with the type of God, that your soul is totally under the control of your spirit man. You know, your spirit man himself having now been coupled together with the spirit of god okay and they are in control the reins of your soul are in their hands the control of your, your soul are in their hands so that they are working together your your soul your spirit the spirit of god the soul of god they are working together in sync and in tandem hallelujah that is the saving of the soul that is the whole exercise that is when you become like jesus christ that is what all those things we talk about um, fellowship of the spirit studying the word meditating upon the word you know and all that is the aim of the whole exercise that your soul will become like the soul of god that your soul will become like the soul of jesus christ that your soul will become gracious okay like we were saying the other time that's the aim of the whole exercise and believe me it excites me 
and you know, frankly, <laughs> frankly speaking, it excites me. And these are some of the things that make Christianity so enjoyable to me, as far as I'm concerned. Let's round it off this morning. We said quite a number of things. Remember that while you are passing through stuff, at the end of the day, you are going to come out well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> this is not to say when the enemy is attacking you, you know, or when you have, you know, allowed yourself to um, um, walk into an offside position. And then, no, that's not it. When you are doing very well, and it seems as if, why would this thing come? Okay, then you are, you are, you are going through promotion examination. That's what you are really going through. Praise God. You are going to come out well on the other side. You are going to be promoted in Jesus' mighty name and spoke about uh, um, the glory and honor you are going to have about it. Amen. The joy of the Lord that cannot be expressed. Amen. And finally, the saving of your soul. Thank you very much for sharing time with us. Really appreciate you. Please remember to help us to do your best to grow this channel. Thank you. God bless you.